today is a nice uh, unboxing video day. I've got my lovely assistant doing the assessment assistant doing all the videoing for me because I hate it. Okay, it's literally landed today thanks to Yamaha South Africa and Mark Base. So Marco and Ricardo and the whole squad in Italy. I say thank you very much. Grazie mille. And I'm literally unboxing this for the first time. As you can see. Ooh. Mark Base warranty card, which I'll thankfully never need. Um, so, Anton Stella, who is a Mark Base rep in South Africa, who has pretty much built a brand, man alone, has sent me the new 2x10, which I currently own, but what I mean is I already own the 102 HF, I think it is, which is the old design. So not only is the new cab lighter, even though it's marginally bigger, it's also louder and lighter and it's made out of the same composite plastic that Marco them have shipped to change to which I think is brilliant actually um, and the best part I mean I'm making it seem very involved just because I don't know where the front is <laughs> but it's stupidly light as in stupidly light so what I love about this 2x10, where mine is different, is mine is two in a row, which is cool. And the fact that it's front ported is nice, obviously, because I get lots of bass response. But having them set up like a whopper, happy. That tweet is going to make all the difference, and ridiculously, still under 15 kilos in weight, which is a joke. For you who has carried bass amps, and I say you, I mean me, this is a laugh. Anyway. In the next video, um, hopefully I'm plugging a new amp as well, so you can check that out. So yeah, okay. Okay, so here's my nice new 2x10 cab. Typical Mark Bass tradition, it's got the nice yellow speakers, which are spectacular. They are quick. The bass response is ridiculous. Mid-range is clear and tight. And the tops, thanks to this beautiful tweeter, is pretty amazing. They're very silky, and you can dial them up, and they're not going to hurt. So what is interesting is it's still mostly the plastic which makes it 10 times lighter, but it's got some felt over it, which is genius actually, purely because if you have Velcro on your head's argument sake, you can tilt this amp as much as you like, it's never gonna move. The head will stick on you, so that's pretty genius. The handles are great because they're part of the actual thing, so you don't have to replace broken handles, which I've done dime a dozen on many amps, uh, not mark based amps, but anyway. So for those who own the first gen or the early gen, cabinets firstly you'll note that this is rear ported so all of your bottom end is going to come out of that because the air needs to move so that's kind of cool um what used to be a dial for the tweeter so you can basically set how bright or how dull that tweeter is going to be and how much it works what i love they've done now because the problem with the dial even though it's got numbers on it's almost impossible to set the tweeter level twice in the same manner so what's cool about this is They've now got switches at certain frequencies. So you've got a minus six or minus nine dB pull down on the tweeter. As in, you can have minus six if you want it less bright or off completely, or you can combine them and lower it down to minus 15. So this is kind of cool because it means you can sit statically every single time. If you get a tone you want, you'll nail it every single time. So this is kind of cool. This was a nice addition. And then yeah, typical mark base workmanship. It's light as a feather and it's going to be very loud. So we'll, I'll show you that in the next video. Okay. So here we are to the Mark Base head itself, which I'm thrilled about. Um, for many reasons. Now, I bought a 1x12, the new 58R121P cabinet, which is upstairs, to replace my old 121P cab. And I've used it on fretless, on upright, on electric, and I love it. So much so that I bought it twice. So I bought the same head, different cab, because the configuration makes a difference. Also, firstly, this is an 8 ohm cab, which is great, because it's going to pair well with my 2x10. And it'll also pair very well with the actual combo amp that I bought, because as you know, every Mark Base amp can run two speaker enclosures, and they'll at 
8 ohms, they are smiling. Uh, it handles the output well. Yeah, many reasons. So as you can see, the tape is still very much on. This is a little unboxing video. Um, and yeah, again, I've got to just send a huge thanks and shout out to Anton at Yama, South Africa, who handles the Markbase agency. They have done spectacular gear for years. That's why when you walk onto any stage in South Africa, the days of seeing just Ampeg amps is long gone. There's a significantly better chance of you running into a Mark Pace rig now. And I'm very grateful for that fact. Because finally we can all enjoy very good sound. So I just want to get these huge pins out without damaging the box entirely. Okay. Should be another one down the run. Yes, a whole bunch of tricks. All right, let me just break the box. Sorry. I thought I could be all silent and quiet, but that's not that. Okay, so now the magic is upon us. If I can open the box. Oh, I don't want these to get caught on your feet. Okay, so yet again, in two mark base fashion, there's my warranty card, which I thankfully will never need, ha ha ha, because Mark Base gear doesn't break. And a catalogue for more stuff I probably can't afford but would love to have. And strings. Now I will say this, I've done some other videos on the Mark Base strings and they are actually amazing. I would definitely talk to Anton um, at Yama about finding some at your closest dealership because the Markway strings are spectacular. The energy strings are great. I have them on my fenders. Really enjoy them. Um, the balanced is on my six string at the moment, which has also been a vibe. So yeah, you know, as they become available, I will be trying them. There's definitely a set of the, the upright bass strings I want to give a bash. Um, they are very expensive, just generally not the Mark Base ones. Double bass strings are hellishly expensive. Um, but I will go tack one down and tie it out because I think they're going to be magical. Okay, so nicely suspended in packing foam and it will come with a tested IC or power cable with a European plug or 15 amp South African plug, which I love, um, which we will do and sort out and plug in and plug up quickly forthwith. Um, just before I take the box out, what I did want to point out to you, the amp out anyway, is Mark Base also sent a nice speak on cable, so the cable to go from the head to the amp. And what's immediately remarkable about it is actually the weight of these cables and the, the clear durability of the cable. So I'm looking forward to using this. Again, speaker cables will make or break your sound. So I'm definitely thrilled about that. Put you there. And now the moment of truth. Not only did I get the 58R head, I got the Marcus Miller 58R head now. This is probably the only one in the country for now. Ask Anton nicely, I'm sure he'll get a whole bunch of others. So I'll actually start with the back, which is the nice part. Firstly, the amp head is hella light, right? It's got a top cover, back cover, it's got a fan, which works brilliantly. And should these ever go down, which they never do, this is, it's like very easy to sort out and actually replace, which is great. Um, the back panel's got a, another speaker knot or a speaker knot, so I can connect this to the uh, enclosure. And then from the enclosure, I could then take the other speaker knot of that and extend the cabinet. So there's no need for two ports, which is actually something I'm glad they paid attention to because you don't really need two ports. Then you've got an effects send and return. Yeah. So here's a speaker out, normal jack plug or the option of so you can take a normal speaker cable with a jack plug to another enclosure or you can just use the combo plug and then extend from the either way will work it's nice that they're given you options and then a good old um, power port with a fuse obviously as you know built in now for the fun bits which I also need to see okay so again here's where mark base is just ridiculous right so they put everything you need on the front panel so your DI send that used to be on the back is on the front. Comes with this customary ground lift or earth, depending on the, you know, the 180 flip, depending on the earthing. What's nice about this switch here now, so here's your send and return, right, for effects. 
and your EQ post or EQ pre switches for the DI out. So that means that you can record your audio, EQ and do whatever it is you want. And the send can be either pre the effects, so front of house gets your dry, good guitar signal after preamp, which will make you sound better anyway. Uh, or post EQ in case, you know, you reckon you've got that tone and the front of house will benefit from it. It's cool. Okay, so the rest of them are pretty stock. If you are a Mark Bass fan, which I'm sure you all are, and this is all. So let, let me show you the things you already know, right? So what's nice is it's a big gain dial. You can't get it wrong. Can't miss it. Then you've got a big master dial. Again, same thing. Can't miss it. And it moves very elegantly. Then you have your EQ stage. Now what's nice is they've kept everything red. And then the Millerizer stuff is this. So the Millerizer is a very nice uh, amp sim and it kind of dials in a little bit of that Marcus tone. So the one thing I failed to mention uh, before I talk about the, you know, the sound of the cabinet and the amp is that I played my basses into my pedal board, which you can see. And it's just going into a bass switch, which I love because it does absolutely nothing to my sound. There's been no tweaking, no EQ, no compression, nothing. So what you hear is what I played. So yeah, let's hope uh, I do it justice. And also, I purposefully... Um, only use the phone speaker and I didn't want to record the audio into my studio interface or any of that stuff because I wanted to keep the sound as untouched as possible. I know it's obviously a bit of a joke because it's going through a phone um, speaker or microphone but I can tell you if it sounds good on there can you imagine how good your bass will sound.